Hey, so real quick, you had a question just about uh, filtering results based on the date range. So here in my database table, I've created a very simple events table with some upcoming dates. So let's go ahead and start filtering this. So I'm just gonna jump to uh, this endpoint here, which queries all records from uh, that table. So let's go ahead and put in our inputs to have a date range. So first we'll do a date field here called start, and then I'll do another date input here and we'll call this end, and that will be our range. So if we go into query all records right here in the filter section, we can do custom queries to define the rules how we want our records queried. We'll just do a conditional here. We'll first take in the events.date, so that date field, and I'm just gonna apply a filter here and I'll, we'll say this is between. So determines if a value is between two others. And then the left value will be our start date and the right value will be our end date. And I will just go ahead and set this equal to true. So we'll just only get back the events where the date is between our inputs, start and end. So if I go ahead and I wanna run this, you can see I uh, tested this out earlier, but let's go ahead. Let's say I wanna see in 2022, uh, we're in August right now at the time of this video. Let's just go ahead and look for, and I can't type right there, but let's go ahead and look for uh, dates in this month. So we just need quotations. The format is year with four digits, then month with two, and then day with two. So we'll say 08, and then um, I'm confused if there's 30 or 31, so I'll just do 0901. And let's just go ahead and run this. And you can see we get three events back. And look, there's fundraiser on the 15th. It's like community dinner on the 21st, concert in the park, 26th. Um, so pretty simple example, but there you have it. Of course, you can make these um, dates dynamic, right? We maybe we wanna see what's in the following month. Um, let's go ahead and change this to September and we can see there is a birthday party on the 10th and a wedding on the 3rd of September. Um, so pretty simple example. Remember, just use that by custom query. Go ahead and use that between filter and you can set that equal to true.